Hi everybody, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make salmon patties. Here's what you will need. You will need two cans of pink salmon. You will need one medium potato and what I've done with this potato is I've peeled the potato and I boiled the potato until it was fork tender. You will need onions, green bell peppers and red bell peppers. And what I've done with these is I've put less than a teaspoon of oil in a frying pan and I've sauteed the vegetables up. I did them ahead of time so that I can shorten the cooking process of the video. And also so that my vegetables can be cool because when you put these vegetables in, they have to be cool when you add them with your salmon. You will need two eggs. You will need chicken powder. Here's what the chicken powder looks like. It's a chicken bouillon flavor and it's in a powder form. You will need garlic powder, black pepper, and Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay, so the first thing that I need to show you all how to do is, let me take my rings off. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean, okay? Now, let me show you what the salmon looks like. So it comes in the can, and you want to drain the water well, as much as you can. Okay? And then, you just open it. It'll fall right open for you, just like this, okay? And then you open it, and what you'll see... Let's get a good picture down into here so you all can understand this. You'll see... A line of bones. These bones will come up very easily for you. These bones are not the kind of fish bones that's really sharp. They won't stab you. They won't get stuck in your throat. Actually, these bones here, a lot of people eat these bones, but I take them out. Okay, can you see what they look like? Just like that. And then you take the others out. These bones are really soft, and there's a lot of people that eat them but I don't, so I choose to take them out. So the bones are here and there, and you can't miss them, okay? And then we'll come over on this side, and you open it up as well, and you fill for the bones. Here's the bones, just like so. Anything that I make in this kitchen is so easy, and yet it tastes so good. Nothing hard to make in my kitchen, guys. You hear me? Okay, there's some bones, just like that. Now I'll discard of the bones, and then what I like to do is go in and grab this dark part, which is called the silver skin, and discard of it as well. Now there's some of you that like to keep the skin, and that's totally fine, okay? So now we'll turn this one over, get that silver skin off, and we're in business. Okay, so just like this, and then we'll do our second can as well. Now, you all that know me, you know that I have another salmon patty video. So feel free to check out that video. Okay, I did that video a year ago, and I've heard a lot of people saying, well, Gina... I think it's about time for another salmon patty video. And I thought, well, okay. <laughs> so here we are. We're back in the kitchen making salmon patties again, and I'm delighted to make it for you all. Absolutely, I am. So I'm going to do the same process with this one as well. Okay? You just grab the bones and discard of them. Okay? Get the silver skin off, and you're set. I tell you one thing. I'm going to show you all how to make one of the best, the best, you hear me, recipes for salmon patties. I love them. I grew up on salmon patties. My grandma made them. And one thing that I'm going to do with this recipe that I didn't do with my old older recipe 
the other video, I didn't put the potato in there. But today I'm going to put the potato in there. My grandma, when she made salmon patty, she would always put a boiled potato in there. And that would be, it does definitely give it flavor. But back in the days, it would also stretch your meal. You know, stretch your meal so they could feed their families. Absolutely. So, in memory of my beautiful grandma, we're putting a potato in. Absolutely. Okay, you just fill for your bones and take the silver skin off, just like so. Same process. Make sure when you open, this one's, let me show you all that. You see those bones right there? Yep, just pull it right up. It, it comes right up with no problem. When you all feel these bones, if you haven't felt them for the first time, you'll understand when I say that these bones are really soft. They're not the bone that we're used to with fish that are really sharp and can stab you. Okay. Let's get the silver skin off the bottom of this and I'm gonna show you all how to make these bad boys. Salmon patties is on the menu tonight at the Young's house. Okay, let me rinse my hands just a little. <clears throat> now, what we're gonna do, I have a nice clean bowl. And what you wanna do is bring your bowl into the equation and put your salmon patties, or your salmon, right on into that bowl. And we're gonna go in with a wooden spoon and you're just gonna kinda mush your salmon together. Because when you're making salmon patties, you don't want to have big chunks. Now a lot of you might say, but Gina, can I do this with fresh salmon? Absolutely you can, okay? And you'll do the same exact recipe and you'll follow the same instructions, only you'll be using fresh salmon. No problem there. When I think of salmon patties, I do it how I grew up on them. And that was with the canned salmon. Okay, so I'm going to continue to give a nice mush, if that makes any sense. Mushy, mushy. All right, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go in with my spices. So I have less than a tablespoon of chicken powder. Chicken powder, Gina? Yes, absolutely, guys. Please trust me when I tell you this. And since we're using this chicken bouillon powder, we're not gonna use salt, okay? That way your salmon patties are nice and seasoned, but they're not too salty. Because if you were to use salt and your chicken powder, it would be too salty, okay? Let's go in with a nice amount of ground black pepper. You have to have black pepper in there. Absolutely. Let's get a nice amount in there. Just like so. Here we go. And then garlic powder. I love the taste of garlic powder in with my salmon patties. You almost have to have that garlic powder in there. There you go. I don't suggest using fresh garlic with these salmon patties, okay? And then I'm gonna go in with my potato that I've boiled, and I'm gonna use just about, oops, just about half of this potato. I think I'll use my fork, just to shave off some. I'm gonna use, like I said, about, let's see, I might even use the whole thing, let's see. And this will also serve as a binder as well. That's all you need. That's all you need. And this here, hey, I'll eat that. <laughs> Let me put that on a plate. Okay, and wipe my hands down here. Absolutely. So then, when you saute up your vegetables, don't use a lot of oil or butter because we don't want oily salmon patties, okay? And you don't have to use a lot of vegetables. I use just a couple slices of green bell pepper, a couple slices of the red, and a very small amount of onion, okay? Chop it up small, 
saute it up and make sure it's cooled down before you put it in here because if it's not cooled down you make scrambled eggs how will you make scrambled eggs well because we're going to put these eggs in you don't want anything to be hot when you put your eggs in all right that makes sense okay then we're going to go in and we're going to put some breadcrumbs in okay not too much but just enough to bind your beautiful patty this right here might be just enough so I'm gonna go in with my wooden spoon and we're gonna get these eggs and potatoes well incorporated and all of those beautiful seasonings and I tell you all what this smells so good right now you hear me boy this is really bringing memories back absolutely it is Wow I automatically when I think salmon patties I think of my grandma Yes, I do. I can't help but to. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. Yes, it does. So how you're going to feel this to see if it's ready to be patted up and not too loose is you're going to kind of take it in your hand and see if you can ball it up. See how that stayed into a nice ball and we drop it and it's still kind of in the ball. Absolutely it is. It's ready. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more breadcrumb, just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. That's it. And then we have the perfect mix. It's ready to be patted up. I'm going to show you how to make these patties, and then we're going to fry these bad boys up. Mm -mm. I came to make some mouths water tonight. You hear me? Who doesn't love salmon patties? And who? I want you all to let me know in the description below who grew up on salmon patties if you did let me know and let me know how your family made them so I'm just going to go in and grab some of the mixture and you just kind of patty it up just like when I made the crab cakes and you make them the size that you want when you make them the bigger size as if it was a hamburger that's called a salmon patty. And when you make a little teeny one like this, kind of oval, that's called a salmon croquette. Okay? I'm not doing croquettes today. I'm doing patties. And it kind of resembles, like I said, a nice size hamburger. Just like this. So, you want to make sure it's all sealed on the sides. Nice and pattied up. And we're going to take this. And we're gonna take some flour, let's scoot this aside. I'm gonna take this, get all your sides sealed so it doesn't come apart on you, okay? Mash it down to the size that you would like to see them, okay? Take a little bit of flour, and you flour the side, and you dust that extra off, okay? You see that? A little bit of flour, all right? Dust the extra off, and we're going to set this aside. You can even take the flour and go across the edges if you like. What will the flour do, Gina? Well, I'll tell you. Let me grab a plate really quick so I can put this on. What the flour will do is the flour is going to give you one nice, beautiful, crispy crust. A golden brown crust that we all think about when we think of salmon patties. And I'll show you. I'll show you. It's a nice, crispy, golden brown crust that I love that the flour does. Now, if you want it to, some of you might say, but Gina, I don't want to use flour. Guess what? You don't have to. You can make these and they're going to fry up nice and golden brown. And they're going to taste just as good. They're just not going to be as crispy as they would, okay, with this flour. All right? But you don't have to use it. I promise it'll turn out beautiful as well. So then, you're going to go in and do that. Same thing. Same thing. Dust the extra off. Put a little bit on your sides. All right, I'm going to continue to do a couple more. And then we'll start the process of frying these. I'll be right back after I'm complete patty and the others.
Okay, everybody, all of our patties are nice and pattied up. And what I like to do is I like to let these sit with that flour on there for around about seven to 10 minutes, okay? So everything can kind of set back up, okay? And be nice and firm. So let's bring this towards our stove. Come this way because I have a pan. This is the skillet that I wanna use. Okay, and let me show you just about how, how much oil I have in the pan. Just about that much, okay? And then we're gonna put our patties in. Okay, ever so gentle. And I'm starting to hear a nice sizzle. You wanna hear that right away when you put your salmon patties in the pan. Now naturally, you're gonna wanna go in right away with a fork or a spatula, going in, you know, going in, looking at it, don't mess with it. Just let it be and it'll turn out perfect because if you go in right now with a spatula or a fork messing with it, what'll happen is it'll fall apart on you and we don't want that, okay? So, what will happen? The salmon patties will actually let you know when it's time to turn them. How will they do that? The way they will do that is you'll start to see a beautiful golden brown ring right around the bottom edge, okay? And when you start to see that golden brown ring, that's an indication that you can go ahead, check on them and turn them, okay? So I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly and we're just gonna keep a very good eye on our salmon patties because you don't wanna burn them. You wanna stand here. I don't suggest walking away from the stove. You know, if you don't feel like standing, just pull a chair up to the stove, okay? So, we're gonna look for that golden brown ring and you're gonna put your stove on medium high heat. If you turn it up on high, it'll burn. It'll cook really fast and the inside will still be cold. If you put it on low, it'll kind of steam and everything will fall apart. So you put it on medium high and this bad boy, hey, listen, you hear me? Oh yeah, absolutely. We're gonna have salmon patties tonight. And so when I was a younger kid, I would use ketchup on my salmon patties. I don't know if I would do that as an adult, but I wanna try it to bring back memories to see if I would still like it with ketchup. Or you could use sriracha mayo. You could use hot sauce. You could squeeze some lemon on here. You can make an aioli. Anything that you wanna do with your salmon patty, you absolutely can. Hey, you can put this salmon patty between two pieces of bread and, and go to town, you hear me? Absolutely you can. So possibilities are endless when you're thinking what to do with your salmon patties. You could have rice on the side. You could eat it with mashed potatoes and peas. You can pretty much do whatever you want with salmon. Okay, now they're cooking up nicely and my house is smelling good. Don't think just because it's a salmon that it has a fishy smell. This does not have a fishy smell at all. Actually, it smells beautiful. Woo, it smells good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lemon juice out of my refrigerator if I have some. And I do have some. I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit on it. These salmon patties are so easy. So much fun, and yet it tastes so good. Oh, okay, this reminds me. I said, yet it tastes so good. Here's one of my cups that says, yet it tastes so good. And on the back, it says, In the Kitchen with Gina Young. You can find this in my um, online, where the merch is located. And then I believe I have another coffee mug, and it says, um, I can't do anything without God and my coffee. <laughs> I think that's an awesome one. But if you haven't had a chance to check the merch out, check it out. I'm starting to see a nice, beautiful golden brown. So now I'm going in. I'm going to turn this first one and see. Oh, yeah, baby. You hear me? Oh, yes. Now, see, 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 see. This right here, this is what gets me excited. That golden brown, beautiful color. Now, 
One thing I want to tell you all, and I'm not sure if I told you all in the beginning of the video. As far as the vegetables go, the onions and the bell peppers, you don't want to put the onions and bell peppers in raw. How come? And the reason why is because these salmon patties cook up so fast. What would happen is your vegetables, if you put them in raw, they would never have a chance to cook. So you pre-cook them. You cool them down so it doesn't, you know, heat your egg up when you mix them. And those vegetables are just perfect. And when you cut down in there or bite down in there, it gives such a beautiful color with the onions and the red and the green bell peppers. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like peppers, then by far, you don't have to put peppers in, okay? And it'll still be good. If you're someone that says, oh, Gina, but I really don't like onions, you don't have to put it in there. It's okay. Just follow the rest of the recipe and leave the onions out, okay? When you all make my recipe, make it your recipe. Put what you like in it. Look at this. Let's get a good, let's get a good look at this, guys. See this right here? Oh, yeah. This right here is salmon patties. 101. You hear me? Hey, if you've never had this before, you might want to think about making you some. Because if not, you are totally missing out, guys. This salmon patty is to absolute die for. You hear me? And they're not greasy. Don't think for one second that these are greasy. One thing that you want to do to prevent them from being greasy is you always want to make sure anytime you're frying anything, it doesn't matter what it is, you want to make sure that your oil is nice and hot. And when your oil's nice and hot, nothing that you cook will be oily. But if you were to ever put anything into a frying pan and your oil wasn't hot and you didn't take the time to heat your oil up, what will happen is they will be oily, okay, and soggy. So always make sure that oil is nice and hot. And what you can do is you can take the back of a wooden spoon and put it in your oil like this. And once you see a bunch of bubbles come around the edge of your spoon, you know that that oil is nice and hot. Or you can throw you a tad bit of flour in there, and if that flour sizzles right away just like this, then, hey, your oil's nice and hot, okay? I usually do the trick with the flour, and that assures me that my oil is ready. Look at this, and look how simple. Now, when I make the videos, I pause, I stop and I pause and I come back and edit different things. And now, the videos are actually longer than the cooking process of my videos. Like I said, because I take things out, I edit, I'm pausing and things like that. But this here, hey, you could have this done 25 minutes. 25 minutes and this is done and on the table. Absolutely. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. This right here really takes me back to my childhood. There's nothing, and a lot of you say it. A lot of you all say, thank you, Gina, for taking me back to my childhood. Like, there's nothing like good old memories. Good old memories, oh man. Like, I, I live for good old memories. You hear me? Absolutely, I do. And I have a lot of memories eating salmon patties. I'm gonna check the bottom because I'm starting to see golden brown. Oh, beautiful, yes. See, this right here, this is right up my alley. My goodness, are they beautiful. I want them to go for just a little bit longer to get nice and golden, and then we'll take them out. Let me check on this one. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Hoo-wee! Mm, mm, mm. Give them a try, guys. Salmon patties for sure. And like I said, if you wanted to make the croquettes, just make your patties a little smaller into little ones. You can make them oval, oval, and they'll be salmon croquettes. I will do a video for the mackerel patties. 
I didn't grow up eating them, but I see a lot of people like them. Okay, so I'll have to do a video for them as well because there's so many people that love mackerel patties. And I just wonder, does mackerel patties taste like salmon patties? I wonder stuff like that. All right, let me get a cooling rack to set these on, and I'll be right back, and we'll give these a try. Look at this, everyone. Salmon patties. Look at them, nice and beautiful. Anytime you cook something and you fry it, you put it on a cooling rack, because a cooling rack will allow for circulation to happen, and your product won't get smushy at the bottom. It will remain nice and crispy, okay? So what I've done is I've put the cooling rack right on top of a dish. Air can circulate and it'll stay nice and crispy, okay? So let's arrange these right onto our plate over here. They've had plenty of time to cool down. Okay, everybody, here's what I want you to see. I want you all to see this beautiful crispiness that's on the outside. And in the inside, it's nice and soft and so flavorful. My goodness. Okay, just to show you just how fast these things go. No sooner than they, they were, they were waiting on me to put that video on Paul so they could run in here and grab one. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this beautiful crispiness. Beautiful, both sides. Nice, beautiful, and crispy, soft in the middle. Let's give this one a try, and I'll set these aside. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of lemon on mine. If you don't like lemon, you don't have to use lemon. Watch this. Just a little bit. That's it, that's all I need, guys. I'm gonna put just a little. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit of sriracha mayo. We're gonna give this a try. God bless this meal. Thank you, Lord, for feeding us every day, taking care of us, and keeping us safe in your arms. Send your angels down to surround us day and night in your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind, Lord. We love you. We believe in you. We have faith in you. And we thank you again, once again, for this meal. Amen. Let's dig in. Let's go. I can't take it any longer. I'm grabbing a knife just so I can cut down in here and show you. I normally don't use a fork and knife. This is just so I can show you all just what the middle looks like. Okay, let me, I have to take these pieces, guys. I can't stand it any longer. Oh, my word. My goodness, let's see, hold on. Look at that, beautiful, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's go. Give me that piece right there. Oh, nice and crispy. I'm going to let you all taste this. Taste that, guys. Taste right there. My goodness, look at this. Taste that. I'm digging in. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hands down. Hands down, this is the best salmon patty in town. You hear me? Taste that part. My goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Hey, if you all enjoyed this video, mm, mm, mm. give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night.
Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I wasn't sure as, as an adult if I would like the ketchup. I still love the ketchup on it. My goodness, is that good. Mm, mm, mm. Taste that. God bless you all. Mm, mm, mm. Have a good night.